Hi, today's lesson is going to be an introduction to e-commerce. Um, what is e-commerce? What is e-commerce made up of? Uh, whether you're extremely familiar with it, been doing um, e-commerce for several years, or just looking to maybe create an online business, uh, this lesson will just give you a, a quick insight into what it means, what is, what things go into building an e-commerce site. So we'll take a look here at the full life cycle of e-commerce. What happens when someone comes to your site? They browse products, browse aisles or categories. They add products to the cart. They pay for those products. Um, that online business fulfills that order and ships that order on out. And this can be done, as you see here, through a mobile device, a, a desktop device, um, through social media channels. We'll talk a little bit about those um, as well. So first, browsing and searching for products. What does this mean um, and how does that affect you? Um, you're going to want to look at your site search. Um, it's a very key component. Most uh, e-commerce platforms out there come with a built-in site search, um, come with merchandising capabilities. Um, but let's take a look at the site search. Um, this is a user comes to your site, they know what they want, and they enter that product directly into that site search. It's one of the most important items um, of an entire e-commerce website. Merchandising. Uh, the ability to merchandise your products. Uh, this would be product displays. Uh, this would be promotional information. Uh, you're having your top products uh, shown first on product category pages. Um, also, when your sales, running those promotions right directly on the home page to get users to click on them. Uh, that's These are ways of merchandising your website. Categorization, which is known also as information architecture. Um, this is very similar. You walk into a grocery store, you have maybe your meat department, you have your deli, um, you have your frozen foods aisle, you have your bread aisle. Same thing goes for any e-commerce uh, website. Break down your category. So if a user doesn't know what they're looking for and your messaging did not stick out to them because they're still not sure, let them browse your aisles. But having that, that very clean categorization broken down for them is really important. Um, we'll have future lessons on uh, what goes into creating that and there's a, a large strategy that goes into it but you do want to have your categories um, or aisles broken down um, so products are easy to find for your users. Um, shopping cart. Uh, this is just as you know much like a physical store um, you're gonna grab your products and you're gonna add them to a shopping cart except for here it's online or digital. Um, there's many shopping carts out there that come with full built-in functionality for shopping cart checkouts, merchandising, product fulfillment, all of that kind of stuff. Um, there's a few tiers here. Uh, the lower end is going to be something like a Zen cart or a WooCommerce, um, something that's very quick out of the box um, for free or next to nothing. Then you're going to have other um, platforms that are monthly uh, fees, so if you are looking to get up and running sooner than later, you'll have Shopify, BigCommerce, Volusion, and you pay a monthly fee to have that hosted and all of their tools and services included in that. They start probably as low as you know $30 a month and they go all the way up to $1,000 a month. Um, but we'll talk later about those uh, platforms in another lesson. Uh, Magento, this is probably the largest platform out there um, in terms of communi uh, community, popularity, and just overall number of businesses on this platform. And then some of the higher end or more enterprise uh, level platforms are Kibo, Demandware, and Hybris. Now, um, if you're looking to just get started, you're not going to even want to consider some of these just because the price points are in the thousands and thousands of dollars each year, you know, twenty, fifty thousand dollars plus um, to use their platforms. Uh, there's a lot that comes with it, um, but in terms of starting small, you're going to want to look at some of the, the free or low monthly um, cost platforms. Um, now you get into your checkout. Um, this is one of the large parts of e-commerce is the ability to, cre to create accounts, um, to see past orders, um, update billing addresses, and those kind of things. Also, the ability to accept payments. There's many payment processors are out there, um, but to connect that to your website is one of the biggest things. Um, as I mentioned, there's several things that go into this, but if users aren't able to pay for the products online, that's not good. Um, so you'll want to look at PayPal, Authorize.net. Um, we'll have a section on gathering these requirements and to find out which one works best for you um, later on. Shipping information. Now that someone's purchasing something, how are they paying for shipping or how are they getting their products? Um, this is more of a business decision. Do you want to tie it into FedEx or, or UPS? Uh, how are they paying for it? Do you want to pass that cost off to your customer or do you want to absorb that cost um, and lower your margin? Um, again, these are things we'll talk in later lessons. Um, tax calculation. If you're required to charge a tax, 
um, how are you taxing them? How is that built into that shopping cart? And most of these shopping platforms um, that we mentioned in the previous slide are going to come with the ability to easily set these up. And then lastly, order confirmation. So when they do hit submit order, um, now that goes into another third party or within the platform to say, okay, hey, an order came through. Now you guys got to fulfill it. Uh, and then here's that fulfillment process, order processing. Once that order comes in, where does it go? Do you have a manual process where maybe you just want an email? You walk to the, the next room, um, into the stock room, you grab your product, you put it in, you package it, slap some tape on it, call UPS and say, hey, I need to send this out, slap the, the um, shipping label on it, and they come and get it? That could be. Um, or do you want a more streamlined process? When that comes on in, uh, it goes right into a, a warehouse or inventory management system, uh, and a shipping label is automatically printed for it, uh, then UPS knows to come get it, and it gets shipped out. All those things are possible. Again, we'll talk about some of these a little bit deeper in later lessons. Um, RMA, this would be on the, once the user gets it, they might find that it's a, a wrong size, or um, maybe it's, they just don't want it and they want to return it. Allowing them to easily return it is an important element of e-commerce, um, and this is something you'd want to have integrated to your site so that process can easily be sent back to you um, and then returned. Uh, for a very easy transaction for both you guys and the and the customer. And then lastly, connecting your users. Um, as I mentioned, the full life cycle of, of this is allowing them to browse your, your aisles, your site on multiple devices, um, desktop, mobile, tablet, and have a very unique um, experience, but all, it's very easy to use for them so they can find your products and check out um, with little issues um, at all. Um, and then now we talk about other channels. Now, how do we broaden our um, our net to cover and reach more users? Um, social media, Pinterest, Facebook, Instagram, um, such important ways, and we'll have sections on that as well. Um, talk about reward programs and um, referrals, getting people that have purchased from you in the past, get them to come back, and also to reach out to their family and friends to get them to purchase and incentivize them. Email marketing capturing email addresses and using that as a tool to continue to get users to come back or people that might be on the fence offering them some kind of, whether it's a discount or promotion to say, hey, come purchase from us. Um, and then there's always the paid search marketing. Um, this is probably going to be uh, you know, the, the pricier version of, you, of it, but um, you're paying to get users to come to your site. So once you feel that you've connected everything, you've merchandised it, you have a great user experience, um, you have your social media and everything set up, then it might be worth doing a paid uh, marketing program to now drive users to your site and then work at converting them. Um, so we'll go back to this, this slide here and, and talk through the full life cycle one last time. Um, E-commerce is really that um, you know, buying and selling of goods online. Um, so the core thing, the core takeaway here is find that platform that's going to work best for you. Um, in one of our next lessons, we're going to talk through determining or researching what that best platform is for you. Um, and then we'll have other sections about each of the other areas is order, order fulfillment, um, that expanding your reach through social media, paid search, and all those kind of things. Uh, we'll talk about all the payment side of it. Um, but one, your, your next step uh, that will be our next lesson is to find out what is that online shopping cart or platform that is going to work best for you. Um, so hopefully that you have a little bit more insight into e-commerce and the e-commerce world of um, buying and selling online. If you have any questions, uh, please reach on out um, to us, support at commercewisely.com. Uh, please visit our website for commercewisely.com for more e-commerce tips and, and tricks on managing and growing your online business. And uh, we'll, we'll talk to you soon.